with a brand new series. This is the continuation, in a way, uh, of the Haunting series. We watched The Haunting of Hill House, uh, 10 episodes a few months ago. Now they've done a brand new season called The Haunting of Bly Manor. I said well, we're going to get to it and we're going to. So, there's no recap to do because I believe it's all new characters and it's a completely new storyline about uh, an American au pair. That's it. That's all I know. So, we're going to dive straight into this. We're going to be doing one episode a week. Um, it will be available over on Patreon in full length. But, this series will also be available to all of my channel members who are on the Wolfpack or higher. So, if you join the channel, and you join the membership here, if you choose the Wolfpack or higher, these full length episodes will be posted every week on the community tab and you'll be able to watch them over there as well if you don't in particular want to go and join patreon anyway that's enough of the self plug i've been looking forward to this a little bit of scary stuff is just my cup of tea at this time of year so let's get on with it this is the haunting of blind manor episode one can i have your attention please you'll get to your meals momentarily but i have a story well it isn't really my story. It belongs to someone I knew. And it's not exactly short. Well, it seems we have time enough and wine enough. Who were in need of an au pair. A full-time position, it said, live in at that. In his I old like family accent. home in Wessex. A great good place, alone in the country. You're a teacher? Yes. Been in England long? About six months. Six months, during which time you've... Well, I've fallen quite in love with London. You've no previous experience as an au pair. Miles, my nephew, is back home from boarding school early. He needs structure, discipline more than ever, I fear. Spring session should then... You'd be through. expected to tutor him so he doesn't fall behind. In that respect, your classroom experience may actually be of use. The position was in the countryside? In Bly, my family's country house. There are a few others on the grounds, a cook, a groundskeeper, they stay in town. Would be your responsibility and yours alone. Damn. You don't call on me, unless it's an emergency. I'm <laughs> nice. Busy. I'm busy. I understand. Yeah. You're mm. younger than most who'd apply for this sort of thing. What makes a woman of your age want to give up her life to take care of someone else's children. A full-time position in a beautiful country manor to two exceptional children. But I saw your ad six months ago, when I first arrived in London. Really? And I have seen it every month since. You can't fill the position. I'm gonna be in England a while longer. Yeah, quite a while, actually. Yeah, I, I, I got a trial position at least to the end of the summer. Why are all the mirrors covered could go on for quite a no, I know. I know it's longer than I said, but I got a job. I love you, Mom. Oh, crap. <laughs> That's why. God, is that... Let's have a look at it. Like I said, you know it's going to be big. plenty to love. It really is perfectly splendid to meet you. Why exactly was that? Miles! She's here! She's here! And she's even prettier than I imagined. This is her! Hi, Miles. So pleased to meet you, my lady. Oh, well, what a gentleman. I'm Danny. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you, Hannah Crows. <laughs> well, I, I, I see you made it in one piece. Right, well, um, let, let's find our way inside. I'm sure Miss Clayton is eager to see the house. Her first look at Bly yielded no discomfort. No foreboding. Oh, my God, look at exactly that place. As Lord Wingrave had described. A great, I want it. good place. And it's perfectly splendid. And Stop saying oh. splendid. Hi. Hi, Flora. This way. <laughs> the paintings are all. She's too red, happy. Which means they're painted by hand. And they're perfectly splendid. This is the classroom. That's gonna get annoying. Let's need Miss Clayton to freshen up. Of course. But then we must show her the statue garden. She'll see it all eventually, Flora. Of course. I just wanted to say how happy we all are that you're here. Right. Uh, good night, you lovely young lady. 
and good night to you too, Flora. Oh, heaven help me, this man. Enjoy. So he lives with his mother? Uh, lives for her more like. That's why I came back from Paris. Mm. She took ill. Quite ill, I've heard. What? The butterfly clip. Oh! Ah. Um, Miles gave it to me. He shouldn't have done that. Why not? Because it doesn't belong to you. I'm so sorry. I... I'm so sorry. Who are you looking at? I was wrong. It's actually fine. Can I get out now? I'm sorry? The butterfly. Oh, I... You know, Flora was a little upset, I think. She's always a little upset. Whether she admits it or not. Is that me? Why, no, silly. You're you. It's just a dolly. Touché. Miss, have a lot of dolls. That's a big dollhouse. And we're going to learn how to pick them all up before we go to sleep, okay? Put I her don't back. Know. She stays there. Does she now? Don't leave your room at night. Stay in your bed until morning. I don't think I can promise that. No. But it's certainly a good rule for you and your brother but to... But you must. Okay. Why do they always say this? That's like going, night. you have to run at the whole house, just now don't go in this room. That's the first thing you're going to do. The rooms were larger at night, as though the house itself had inhaled deeply as the sun disappeared, expanding as it held its breath for the morning. That sense of expansion wasn't only indoors either, an emptiness that called out to be explored. What the hell is that? Oh shit. What's the matter? I'm very cross with you. Miss Clayton! Come see what I found! You left your room last night even though you so? promised you wouldn't. Miss Clayton! How do you know? How do you know that? You've got to stay in your room. Come and see! I wasn't trying to scare you, Miss Clayton. I knew you wouldn't be frightened. Did you? But of course. I knew that about you right away. Your uncle told me a little bit about your problems at school. You spoke with my uncle? Well, of course. He hired me. Of course he does. Shall we give him a ring and ask? The au pair's heart ached for the boy's pain. But like the very weather it bly, his moods proved quick to change. As though time and nature held secret laws just for them. Yeah, look at the age of the car. Mm. Who the hell are you? Hello? Flora, don't. <laughs> Who was it? I uh, don't know, they hung up. Again? Another one. Oh, we've had some uh, prank calls. Um... The gardener did not even introduce herself to the new old pair. She barely acknowledged her at all. Was there somebody working on the grounds today? Maybe a repairman or something? No, I don't believe so. Because I saw a guy on the parapet on my way in. On the parapet? Yeah. Are you sure you saw someone up there? Absolutely. I waved. He didn't wave back. Well, we do get ramblers sometimes. Well, you're not going to eat anything? Oh, no, I already ate. Just here for the company. You must try this. Is this the old wing? I don't know. I'm presuming so. Yep, that's where he was. What's with all the voodoo dolls? Miles is only eight, floor of six. <laughs> and that's enough bad luck for any two children to be able then to think what came after. You're your predecessor. Miss Jessel. Yeah. Rebecca. As she was gone long before she waded into that lake, Flora found her. And Jamie found Flora. Jesus. To hear her tell it, 
Rebecca's body in that water, face down. And little Flora just stone still, staring. Now when I hear them cry or scream or yell, God, it's the most beautiful sound in the world. No more games, Miles. Do you like games, Danny? Not at bedtime. It's the best time for games, really. Oh! I'm sorry. You know, uh -oh. you need to make sure that you pick these up. I would hate to break. Where would you like her tonight? In the house or under the dresser? In Slayton? Don't let them close that door on you. Knew it. I said no games. Open up. Miles. Flora. Open the door. It's Open okay, the door. Now. Open the door. I like a dog. Open the door. Guys. No one else can hear that? So sorry. No, you're not. So dreadfully sorry. Please don't be cross. We'll talk about it in the morning. That's bare feet. Oh, hell. <laughs> What? Okay. Okay, that was episode one of The Haunting of Bly Manor. Okay, first things first. The little boy's accent, brilliant. Good little actor. The girl, terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry, terrible. I don't know whether it's forced or it's supposed to be over the top but she does not come across convincing whatsoever she sounds like some um little kid actress who they decided to use for whatever reason because they want a particular look and she cannot pull that accent off it sounds awful maybe it's because i'm british and i know the well-educated elocuted um accent of wealthy people not rich people wealthy people i.e not people who just got plenty of money people who have land who have history who have family history going back generations tens of generations and she just doesn't fit but point that to one side she's weird um I've picked up on the fact that there's no technology in the house. Whether that means anything whatsoever or not, I don't know. Because as she started to tell us this story, our narrator, um, it showed her applying for the job with the uncle. And it's today, or very close to today. And the house seems to have nothing, yet it's got two small children in it. Regardless as to well educated they are or not, there's no phones. There's no iPads, there's no tablets, there's no TVs, there's no internet, there's not even a microwave in the kitchen. Even if you have someone who's cooking all your meals for you, there would still be one there, or there would be more up-to-date utilities available around. When we saw her pan back and saw that guy on the balcony, the car that was parked in the drive was very old. I'm, I'm wondering if from the moment she's landed here she's not in the same time period i don't know i could be right i could be wrong um usually with this series when it shows you something it's for a reason i learned that from season one where the absence of something is important and it usually comes back to it i could be complete way off but after watching the first season of this and all the things i missed that i should have picked up on and trying to pick up on as much as i can this time around the woman doesn't eat 
doesn't sleep, doesn't drink, doesn't touch anything. Is she even there? Do all the rest of them see them? And that's why she sees her. But she's gone, she's dead. Or is she the previous one? I don't know. Is she the previous nanny in disguise? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, the gardener seems odd for wherever it is this is meant to be in England looking after a man of that size. She's like some mid-twenty-somethings farmer-like chick. That doesn't seem to add up. The guy who's doing the cooking, that doesn't seem... It seems very weird. Um, but to set the stage here, there's something clearly weird going on with these kids. I don't know if they're from this era or not. Um, as regards our au pair herself, there is something... I wouldn't know whether to say following her haunting her, stalking her, whatever you want to call it, there is something nefarious and evil and dark that is surrounding her and she's brought it with her. As regards to these talisman voodoo dolls, whatever it is you want to call them, whether the girl's doing that to protect them or whether it's something a little bit more sinister, don't know yet. Uh, I say it is only the first episode so I'm just making a lot of suppositions at this point until we have more of a storyline to go on and then I will probably back it off and let it tell me but um, overall first episode enjoyed it but the little girl and her voice and her use of the word splendid was annoying uh, I'm going to have to get used to her she seems the pair of them seem obviously traumatised from what they've gone through. And this, their parents dying, the previous au pair, supposedly, but from the sounds of things, committing suicide over a guy. Um, and if she was anything like they say she was, why would she do that, knowing full well it, she was probably going to be found in front of the children? There's obviously a closed wing, which would be the first place I'd go and investigate, which is what she did. Everything's covered up. They're not supposed to go in there, but obviously the little girl is minimum. And whatever that was in the hallway, in all the black, we didn't really get much of a shot at it. That's the lady, whoever that is. We don't know. Anyway, that's episode one, and we will carry on next week with episode two. So, as I mentioned at the beginning of the uh, um, video guys if you do want to watch the full length episode of this it's now available in two places you can either go and click the link in the description to go to patreon and watch it full length over there or if you want to join the channel uh, the channel memberships have three or four different tiers in there all you have to do is join the wolf pack or higher and episodes full length episodes of this will be posted on the community tab every week for you to watch over there so you now have alternative areas and places to be able to watch it so um if you enjoyed the video by all means give it a thumbs up please post your comments down below but try and keep the sp spoilers to a minimum for me for those of you who have already seen all of this it's been out a few weeks now i was waiting until one of my series dropped off before uh, we took this one on uh so we'd finished with the boys this is what's replaced it so i will be doing one a week and i'm intrigued as to how much more the uncle and our narrator is going to come into this. She didn't actually say when this was, whether it's real, whether it isn't, whether it's just a story or whether it's fact or fiction. So we need to keep that in mind. Anyway, um, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, guys, and you enjoyed the haunting series, by all means, click the subscribe, turn your notifications on, and you know when the next one will release. I will see you for that one next time. Until then, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Not too much of scares in that one yet, just a couple of spine tingly bits, but I'm sure there's plenty more to come. Anyway, see you for the next one, guys. Take care. Duh.